The Ultimates issue three shifts focused to introducing a Hulk into Earth 6160, specifically Lajori Jonah Zakaria, also known as She-Hulk. The issue also reveals the ruthless actions of Dr. Bruce Banner, whose experiments have caused death and disfigurement among Pacific Islanders, ultimately creating a powerful woman who may spell his downfall. In the Ultimates issue 2, Earth's 6160's Avengers decided to storm the White House, launching an attack on President Midas, who was relaxing in the Oval Office while wearing a golden Iron Man suit. After delivering a strange and overly aggressive speech on capitalism, the President witnessed Iron Lad smashing through the Oval Office floor, revealing America Chavez strapped to a device that siphoned her powers for the local power grid. No explanation was provided for how America ended up there, how the Avengers knew her location, or why the President was using her as a living battery. The issue concluded with the Avengers rescuing America. Before we continue, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with more comic book content like this and help support small content creators like me. In The Ultimates Issue 3, we discover that Dr. Bruce Banner, a member of the Maker's Council, knowingly exposed Pacific Islands to the deadly aftermath of his Banner Ulam Gamma Bomb tests. On one such island, the inhabitants look skyward as the Gamma Bomb detonates, signaling the end of their normal existence. The entire island, home to over 400 people, is enveloped in 80 million tons of radioactive fallout from the explosion. This snow-like material, made up of pulverized coral, water, and gamma particles, contaminated both the land and its inhabitants. Plants mutated to enormous proportions, animals turned into monstrous creatures, and the surviving villagers suffered terrifying consequences. The children, in particular, endured severe burns, vomiting, hair loss, writhing in pain, screaming, confusion, increased aggression, and overwhelming anxiety. The first of two data pages mentions that 10 of the females were pregnant during exposure, and the babies were born prematurely, resembling clusters of grapes or jellyfish with translucent skin, beating hearts, but no bones. Though not explicitly connected to historical events, the writer seems to draw inspiration from the real-world nuclear bomb testing near the Marshall Islands between 1948 and 1958 for this storyline. Using the Pacific Islands as a setting for cruel gamma bomb experiments provides the perfect foundation for introducing a new Hulk while depicting Banner as a ruthless and evil villain. We then shift to the present, where Iron Lad, Thor, and Sif have teleported to the island. They are amazed by the array of mutated lifeforms, almost all of which are dangerous to some extent. They come across a kaiju-sized lizard that seems to defy the laws of physics. But Sif and Thor easily handle it, with Thor proudly claiming he's battled dragons worthy of godhood. As the trio continues to explore the island, marveling at its incredible wonders, we catch glimpses of a creature feasting on the island's specimens nearby. Another data page captures a final report from someone on the island to the Castle Gamma Oversight Committee. In it, the person states that he is the last survivor. He's hidden from and endured attacks from giant carnivorous crabs, intelligent fire ant colonies, man-eating plants, B2 bomber-sized insects, skyscraper tall lizards, and creatures that feed on those lizards. He realizes that his team was part of the experiment and that he will either die there or be transformed into something monstrous. As Iron Lad and Thor discuss the gamma ray readings and the prophecy of Thor's children, the trio is suddenly ambushed by a beast. They encounter a humanoid beast with an abomination-like appearance, massive strength, and few words. When the beast strikes, they find themselves outmatched at every turn. Even Thor hurls Mjolnir at it with all his might, but the beast effortlessly deflects it. Frustrated, Thor uses Mjolnir to deliver a powerful uppercut to the beast and prepares to crush it, but someone stops his hand. A Hulk-sized newcomer calms the abomination just long enough to stop the fight. The beast then reverts to its human form, an infant child. The newcomer introduces herself as Lajori Joanna Zakaria, one of the few villagers who survived the radiation exposure as a young girl. She explains to Iron Lad what happened to her island and its people. Tony Stark quickly suggests that an island of hulks could be the advantage the Avengers need to face the Maker and his council. That is, until Lajori shows him the weakened condition of her fellow villagers, making an army of hulks impossible. Iron Lad is impressed by Lajori's level of self-control, something Banner only achieved after years of effort. He asks her to join the Ultimates and aid in the war. Lajori firmly states that she will only help if they fix the island. The issue concludes with a deal made between the Ultimates and Lajori, while Banner secretly observes and informs the Council to assemble the immortal weapons, declaring that the Ultimates are starting to make him angry.